Good day, peeps. Welcome back to West Newton Farm. As you can see, back in field four to do the combine and it, and uh, just leaving it on running on course play at the moment. So, good news is we got our tractor fixed. We had a smashed window to this side with the door, and just a uh, couple of scrapes, bumps, and bruises. I think a plaster I can't sort out, so that's good. So, in the meantime, while um, he's running around the field looking all happy, we're going to have a quick look over here. <coughs> because you can, this is like a store. I'm not sure what it's for. If anyone can tell me. But well, as usual, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and notification so you know next time I'm on or uploaded a video. Unfortunately, I couldn't get Ian to get on for a multiplayer at the weekend past um, with a few technical issues with microphones. Um, so I'll get that fixed and um, get him back on. I think it was something to do maybe the server was on. He sounded like a Dalek. So, uh, yeah, in the meantime, right, we've got this field here as well. That's field 14. Yeah, I'm not in the wrong one, it's this one. This one, I think we'll maybe cut the grass in this as well. Get some hay bales out of it. And yeah, so getting back to what I was talking about. This is a dump zone here, but I'm not sure what it's for. If you could tell me, that would be fantastic. And right here, but I can't get in. There we go. Must be too tall for getting that way. Oh no, can't get out. There we go. So, that to be that. Mostly grass in this one anyway, so. It's... We're just continuing from where we was before. Get the harvest finished. Yeah, it looks a bit silly, combining nothing. Um, he will now. <laughs> Do we ride with him? No. I thought you could. Maybe you don't have universal passenger on. I'm sure I do like. Never mind. Right, okay. Let's um This is where I wanted to be. <coughs> Back at the farm. And I just want to check cows in the field. I really need to buy a gator. I think I should buy a gator just now. Would be a lot simpler, would it? Hi, BT man. Uh, <laughs> had him out again today. I'm going to believe it, yeah. yeah. I don't got a slight issue with microphone volume. Hold on a second. Yeah, we had him um, out to replace a temporary water supply, uh, sorry, a water prevention measure on the connection box outside the house, which was a very technical thing called a plastic bag. Yeah. But unfortunately, he cable tied it to a fence post with cows in the field. So, what did the cows do? Hmm, that looks tasty. And chewed the plastic bag, and um, and I lost internet again. So we are now looking to really go to town on BT. We're not resolving this problem, guys. 
I can't do live streaming because I can't guarantee I'm going to get. I'm not going to get kicked off. Not kicked off, but I'm not going to drop out. So it's getting a bit ridiculous now. So hopefully we get somewhere. But it's just an absolute joke at the moment. I get a better response from Open Reach than I do from BT. That's my gripe anyway. Uh, my cows are okay. This needs build. So once we get that yield number four won't take long anyway, so just a small one. We'll get this trusty machine ready. And we'll follow, hopefully follow the combine. Can't remember if we got them set to stop or not. I'll need to move anyway because we'll need to turn. Oh. <coughs> I'm going to turn. You know what I haven't done? I haven't put my head tracking on. A dope. A second. Well, now I'm going backwards and I shouldn't be. Copy the handbrake one. Oh, it is there. Right. Oops, I'll go back. A bit on it. I need them loaded now, so we'll just turn around in this field. I was asking a few people about um, the next FS Farming Simulator comes out that would be good VR support. Uh, a lot of positive answers. So, uh, there was one guy, I forget his name now, who said that, um, it's got to happen because it's the next step really. Head tracking is good, yeah, but um, I can't remember if I said in my last video I had a program called uh, Vorp X, I think it was called, which made most of your games VR, but mm. the graphics was, what would we say, um, crap, <laughs> did it nicely. Uh, it was okay, but um, when you started moving around, it was just very jerky. I think it was getting about half a frame per second. So it was too much use. Vorp X, V O R P, and then. It's um, what it's called. You had to buy it actually. So. And I bought it. Again, oh, it was, uh, when I first tried it, it was actually not too bad. Then, um, just uh, uh, just started getting off a jerky and things per second dropped something awful. So, what the hell is he here? Oh. So I give up now and swim back to the head trapping. 
I don't know if it's done an update, if it's maybe changed now, if it's a lot better or what, but I can maybe try it out again. Do we need to get straw for in here? We'll have some bales, we need to get them in as well. God, there's so much to do. Is he going to go straight or is he going to go right down to the bottom? He's going to go straight and turn me. Now I'm going to be in his way. Maybe not. Alan's back in um, Brazil. He's away again for another five weeks, I think it is. Can't remember. I was speaking to him briefly last night. He's bored. He wants him back in his ride. <laughs> yeah. We'll get back onto multiplayer when he gets back, and. other bits and pieces back to trucking as well. I'll get a few trucking videos going this week, hopefully. Won't be this weekend unfortunately because um, needs must. I am working. But um, I should get some done on Sunday and get them uploaded. I shall do my very best. I do normally use the first person. <coughs> I do that view for you guys. So you can see what's happening. I will be buying a bent to replace. Ooh, difficult one now. Yeah, we we'll buying a fent to replace the new Holland down there. It's getting a bit long in the tooth now. He's on empty minute. So it's got over 200 hours now. You actually, when you start the farm, that's what you get. But it comes like. So. It's done me good, so I've used it for the last three episodes anyway.
it was the main one when I first started before because I've had this map going for a few weeks now and then the New Holland was the main tractor until I built up some money Trust the old bird will have to go. Trade her in for a younger model, newer model. The missus keeps saying. Trade me in for a younger model, that's what she thinks. <laughs> Only joking, Emma. I love you. His <laughs> way. Oh, back on track. Jesus. I think we'll go and empty this. Sure, it's up here. I've heard that um, Lawfolds has been in testing and is now out of testing, but unsure if it's passed, failed, or what's happened. So DM modding, the modder for it, kind of thank you enough buddy. Uh, like I keep harping on, it's Lawfalls, it's just down the road from me. It's a real farm, yeah, in Aberdeenshire. I stared just, um, out, well in Aberdeenshire, but the yeah, outskirts of it. In the run I used to do in the coach, I used to pass it every morning and every night. So uh, I did a video, check out the uh, YouTube. And you'll see the, uh, the video I made. Well, we made. Once Lawfuls comes out, Officially, we're going to take a little run down and um, do another video recording. I must ask um, CM Modern if he stays in that area or if he actually stays on the farm. Because um, that would be pretty cool. And if he does, can I come up and take some pictures? <laughs> or make a video? Did I, I did dump stuff in there. I'll have to get that put back into the silo. The new Merlot is out, so we'll have to get hold of that. We'll have to sell some stuff first. We do need a telehandler anyway, so I think we'll opt for the Merlot. Give it a test run. It's a new mod. Give you a mod review on it. Probably loads of the bigger tubers. 
but um, we've done reviews on it. Okay, we've got DJ Go Ham. He's funny, I like him. Virtual Farmer. Uh, Daggerwin. I did see one of his videos where he was using it to ploughing. Well, that would be quite interesting. <laughs> I have it downloaded, I just haven't, um, did I, I think I did activate it on this farm, yeah I did, um, I will, uh, maybe I'll quit looking the shop before it's time to go, at least we're getting this field finished. The weather out here just now is horrendous. Um, raining basically. But thankfully I don't have seasons on here. <laughs> or else it would probably be raining in here as well. Oh, something else I was going to ask. I have this seasons mod obviously, but I, I've got the... Got its geo seasons on as well. Do I need to have both of them on? Question, please let me know in a comment. And as usual, all my head tracking software and things that I use are in the link in linked in the description below. Uh, a couple of people asking me to do a little um, tutorial how to videos regarding my head tracking and I've got two different types of software one is, um, is it basically it's, it's budget stuff I've got a cheap a really cheap ass webcam I got from Asda um, 9 quid I think it cost me or was it 4 quid can't remember anyway and software I've used You've probably heard it and seen it before, is uh, uh, SourceForge. Um, well, face tracking, face tracker, if face tracking no IR, that's what it is. But basically what it does, it's, it's, um, it picks up your face and tracks your face, instead of sensors that with a, the, the, like the track hat and the, the IR head tracking. So that's the cheap option which when I started it it cost me I think it was it's um, a donation you make for the software. I think it was about two pound fifty or two ninety nine British pounds pennies. And um, it works absolutely fantastic. Uh, it sometimes goes a bit haywire, it'll go like it just did there, yeah? um, But as long as you keep it up to date, obviously every time you get update it you need to um, pay for it again, but it's donating to a good cause. I mean, it's, oh, it's less than three quid. You know? And I've got the one I'm using at the moment, which is the view tracker. You get off Steam, search for view tracker. Um, there's a free demo version of it, and I bought this one, which I'm sure was about 12 quid. It's the one that I use just now. It's a, it's more stable, but it's more FPS hungry. That's my thing. And when you move forward, it doesn't hit them, and you can. That's a good. You know, if they're doing telehandler work, which is Look this side for picking up pallets and stuff like that. It's a bit slower to react. But the um, source forge one, it's pretty instant. Oh, look at that. He's almost at the end. He's not even Is he?
So um, I'll do a couple of tutorials, how to, how to find it, how to set it up. The settings that I use, which I find easy for myself, is um, quite a lot of fiddly settings you can do. Yeah, he's done. Cool. Um, so I'll do a couple of how-tos with them. <coughs> course play. Course play. I'm using course play 6. It's always in development, so some things work better than others, some don't work, or some get frustratingly um, awkward. <coughs> so um, I'll do one for that, for the simple, what I do, for the simple, um, simple jobs like combine. If you do the trailer work, leave the combine and get on with it. Grass cut in, you can have um, forager. Uh, <coughs> run in and you follow behind. You know, so it's I usually the main contractor or the hired help. Pick them on course play. That's what I normally do. Then I do all the, the logging with the the crops. Okay, right. So let's get him off course play. Which is basically that's it's I'll do a tutorial. I mean it time to do that, I don't know. So let's um, stop the driver. And I'm not gonna save that, I'm gonna cancel that course. You could I could have saved it as field four harvesting you know your score. Or maybe you don't. That's why I'll do a tutorial. Uh um, Because you can, <coughs> I have seen guys setting up um, the course play, the lit combine, get it going, they'll have their tractor and everything set on a course for unloading, they'll have the combine set for when it's needing unloaded, the tractor will come up and unload and then the tractor will go, once it's full, the trailer's full, it'll go and empty and then come back to a waiting point. That's alright, I mean, if you've got a busy farm. Um, but kind of taking the work away from the enjoyment of actually farming. All you're really doing is just watching it go on and do what it's doing. But tend not to use the um, unloading. To be, to be actually honest, it's um, the only time I'd use it for unloading would be if I am um, selling grain. I would a course for putting it out to sell grain then just leave it to empty my silos basically uh, apart from that nah now we're just gonna I did cool <coughs> Excellent. So we'll leave that there. But we'll fold it up. Fold tool. I did say the uh, uh, I think it's my last video, sim dashboard, which is I don't know if you can see it. You can't really see it too good. Well, um, I need to get a mobile camera. <laughs> I'll do a short video for that as well, how to. That'll help a few folk. It's a free free software, I remember. Is that Alan? Drop my line. <laughs> can't remember. Um, I'm sure it's free. You just download the app on an old phone or tablet you've got. And um, also download it onto your PC, link the two together, marry them, then you're good to go. It'll automatically put Sim Dashboard into, if you download, if I remember, you've got to download Sim Dashboard, obviously to put it into your mod folder and farming simulator. And there is a link 
Um, before you do that, we should just download and uh, copy the zip file into your download folder. Remember and always select it when you're in the game and start a farm, or else it won't work. This is a mod, so it needs to be active. And that's really it. I mean, just go in and it does have a step by step guide anyway, but some people don't like to watch or read tutorials or instructions, so I'll do you the favour of speaking about it. I'll do that over the weekend, I think, when I come back from my long journeys. So I'll empty this trailer. And that's field four done. So we're getting there. <coughs> There's a wee storage yard up here. It's quite handy. I don't mind buying that field there on the left hand side, but. I've got um, bigger priorities at the moment because I need to get plowing, cultivating, seeding, the fields that I've done, bales taken in, cows to look after, it's all go. Did you see the bug on my last video? In the cow shed down at the main farm? And yeah, with the cow head through the wall. So, I haven't actually tried to see if all the cows do it. Um, big trailer. I'll need to um, drop a message to the modder. I can't remember who did it now. I'll give them a wee message saying, uh, hmm, can you fix this? Can't get cows inside. <coughs> so, like I said, that's field four done, so I'm happy with that. I'm oh, sure that, that takes you up to the up to the sheep. I haven't bought that yet either, so... Need to build up some money. We'll get this, all this grain sold. Um, <coughs> silage. Well, because we haven't got cows inside, the silage... It's uh, fermenting as we speak. Sell that as well. Don't really need a straw either. Because I can't, well, I don't know if I can get cows inside. I will test it off, off um, camera. So that's just been a nice half hour. Getting that field done. And, um, Take this back in the farm. Not a massive amount of room here, but enough. Everything's just kind of everywhere just now, so they'll get it fixed, I'll get it all sorted out. Work a little bit there. That's a silo there. We can't. Mission off. And...
that would be it then so thanks again for viewing uh, drop us a comment about anything you want to know and um, again thanks very much for tuning in and check out my channel check out the Facebook channel my, me and my brother Alan we've got a uh, Maxim Gaming Facebook page as well so you can check that out as well and um, there is a bit for donating if you wish like to um, just helps the channel and upgrades the equipment and stuff like that and, uh, but thanks again and I'll see you in the next one thank you